office. And I thought I would take a second to just kind of tell you guys a little bit about what I'm doing in my new role for those who care. Uh, yeah, cause I'm here now and it's empty so I can show you around properly and tell you kind of what my new process is and what I do on my new job. Is that a hair on my lens? Hang on, definitely Osho's hair. Yeah, it's a long one. So as a creative producer, my job role basically requires for me to organize everything for the upcoming shoots. And that goes all the way from creating the creative concepts and the mood boards for each set that we're gonna have for each new collection, finding what poses we're gonna be doing, what the styling's gonna be like, researching what props we want, what backdrops we're gonna need, which colors, which kind of styling we're gonna need, so clothes wise, and then ordering all of that, making sure it's here, making sure it's in the right sizes, finding models, making sure we have a photographer there, lighting, everything basically for a shoot day. We actually had our first shoot yesterday. Well, not our first, my first as a creative producer, and it went really, really well. Everything was completely on time. I think it's super important, especially as a creative producer, being able to allocate enough time for the right things and make sure that you stick to the time schedule because this is so important because as you guys know, time is money, money, money. And basically what I'm doing today, post shoot day, everything else, like all the other logistics that need to be done after a shoot day. For example, I am packing up all the stuff that we didn't use on the shoot and returning it and everything we did use, we keep it. And I had to also send out some other packages for other related things this morning, as well as just put all the props back into the props cupboard, which is this one right behind me. Organize everything, make sure it's neat and clean for next month. And I also have to organize all of the underwear because it's a period underwear company so I have to make sure everything is washed and also the stuff that hasn't been washed and dried I have to just put it away in the sample closet of things we use. So this is the props uh, cupboard it's not the best looking thing in the world. Uh, we usually just have a bunch of tops and styles and clothing that we kind of keep after every shoot after we've used it and we can reuse it. We have a box that we keep full of all of our dark styles like dark tops and our white tops and obviously we don't need bottoms because it's an underwear company. Other bits like here for example we have a bunch of like tape or clip or a hairbrush, slippers and bathrobes for the girls so they're not walking around naked. And just like a bunch of just, you know, props stuff. And then here we just have the box of all of the period underwear that I didn't use. So they're actually all clean. I can put them back. And then here I have all of the dirty ones that I need to wash next week. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do. And it's fun. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of being able to organize a lot of external people and just a lot of people all together and making sure everyone is aware of what's happening and on time and that stuff can be really, really stressful, but it is fun. It is fun. And um, it's a huge growing and learning process. And for me, this is really important. Everything that I do in life, I want to be able to learn from it. And I'm okay with making mistakes because I think making mistakes is important for growth. And I want a job where I can really feel like I'm growing every single day and I'm learning something new and I can get to a higher position and learn and learn and learn and grow. And this for me is just honestly one of the most important things when it comes to work for myself anyway. <laughs> apartment the more chaotic it always feels because everything is just cluttering up daily and I feel like I do not have the time to keep everything under control so I don't even know how you feel when you have a family and like kids. Today there is a fashion trade show here in Berlin it's called Seek Berlin the place the venue and I will be going there to check out a brand it's a sustainable fair brand so that's exciting and I am basically going just to network meet people see what it's all about as well also try to get their contact and get to know the owner of the brand and see if maybe we can collaborate for the company that I work for for one of the shoots. So anyway, without further ado, let's go. It's about half an hour away from where I'm living. I'm actually living in Schöneberg now. I feel like I'm living everywhere in Berlin because when you come to Berlin, you do not live in one location. You move every few months, which is a nightmare. We are looking for something permanent, but it is a Process. Which I will eventually share with you one day when I know how to share it and what to share because I am still in a very confused place and finding a place to live in Berlin is just nightmarish. My brother lives in Sweden and he was telling me how in Sweden it's pretty bad. I think Berlin is pretty bad as well. Like I think it's just as bad if not worse. I also had the very fortunate situation of stepping in dog poop. So that was amazing. That actually happened yesterday and I've been trying to like rub them away, but uh, <laughs> it's not going so well. I swear 
there, my backgrounds keep just getting more and more aesthetic. Like, look at that. You know what is aesthetic? This little guy, oh, you little handsome fellow. Mm, he's hungry, but I told him he has to wait until I film this until we can get you some foodies. Kisses. Kisses. Mm, I love you. You guys, I felt so, so out of my element at this place. And I just wanted to speak up about this because I felt so out of my comfort zone. I walked in and I just felt like, why am I here? You know what I mean? I, I just didn't feel like I belonged. It just wasn't my scene. It's a trade show. Like it's, it's clothing, it's fashion, but you know when something's not really your thing, Thing. It's not something you have that much knowledge on. It's not something you surround yourself around on a daily basis. It's not a type of event you would normally go to. This is how I felt, you guys. I just felt so uncomfortable and I felt like everyone was watching me. And I know no one was watching me because who would care about me? But that's how it felt, you know? And I was just standing around because I had to go to the specific booth. And there was this woman I had to talk to, but then she was busy talking to other people. And then I was just standing there like, oh my God, I have to pretend like I'm interested. I mean, I was, it was interesting but you know when it's that feeling of like I have to now act like I'm really looking through stuff and I have to act engaged uh, like I'm really interested in these garments and I mean I was but at the same time there was this pressure of like when am I gonna be able to speak to her and it was a really tiny area so there wasn't much movement available <laughs> And it was all just very stressful. I was sweating. I was sweating. I had my puffer jacket on, the big, big one, you know, the one I love, but it was very hot with it on. And then I was finally speaking to the lovely, lovely woman. I was sweating. And I am not a socially awkward person. Like, I can speak to people. I am very socially not awkward, but I don't know what was with me. But then after a while, I got really okay with it and I visited some other booths and I spoke to some amazing people. It was really, really nice and everyone was very welcoming and I was no longer sweating and everything was fine. But it was just this initial moment of, wow, I'm really doing something out of my comfort zone and I'm really glad I went because I easily could have just stayed home and been in my comfort zone doing my thing, you know? But I was like, nah, 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 I need to go out. It's important to network. It's important to meet new people. This is the only way you're going to grow and move forward in life and if I don't do these kind of things, I'm not going to get where I want to be. And so I wanted to just share this with you because I know that this is a very common feeling and I know that I'm not the only one that feels this and I know it happens a lot. It's just a little reminder that yes, we're gonna feel very uncomfortable. Yes, we're going to not wanna do a lot of things, but push yourself a little bit because in the end, it's really never that bad, you know? It's always fine. It's just that beginning feeling, but afterwards it always gets better, guys. I think I should do that. Ready? What the nine is opposite well, you totally. Happy <laughs> 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 you. Look at the camera quickly. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Did you get a picture? You I look crazy. Picture, but this one is so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, thank you. Should we have a little nibble? Who would like a bite? I would like a bite. But are you sure? Do you have all angles of your wonderful tart? Okay, I think we should cut it now. Ready to scream? Ow. Wait, no, at the bottom. Hey. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but why? I don't know. It's a, it's a Spanish situation. It's a Spanish situation. Okay.